In this video, I'm going to talk about adjustable transoms for jet tunneled inflatable boats um, with outboards. So yeah, a whole pile of benefits um, using these with your uh, solar strizz or whatever other inflatable you have. So yeah, I'm going to give you a little uh, demo on how this thing works and uh, some of the benefits and just show you uh, how easy it is to adjust the height of your transom with a few uh, ratchets. So uh, yeah, let's have a closer look. So here's the transom here. Pretty, uh, I mean, it may look a little complicated, but pretty straightforward. It has one uh, center bolt in the middle, and uh, this is what you actually ratchet with. Uh, put it clockwise, goes up, counterclockwise, it goes down. Attach your uh, wooden uh, plate to the back here, and uh, simple as that. So to make it go up, like I said, ratchet one way, loosen the three bolts on this side, the three bolts on this side, and they just have to be lightly loosened and then crank it. You can adjust your motor height by millimeters essentially. You know, half a crank, one crank, and uh, yeah, you've adjusted that motor up or down just that tiny little uh, bit. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty cool when you're trying to tweak that new motor, um, figure out exactly where the sweet spot is for running the skinny water. And uh, yeah, so we'll go over a bunch of the, uh, the benefits of this. With this here, uh, had this modified, had a different one originally, a stock one, but for inflatable boats, we found that the sweet spot for um, offset or pushing the, uh, the motor back from the tunnel is about five inches, four and a half, five and a half inches, uh, depending on your boat. But essentially, I think around five inches is the sweet spot for pushing it back. So we had this uh, redesigned, so it's about three inches thick um, right here. And then you add your inch and a half, uh, two inch um, wooden plate, a uh, wooden transom to the back of it, bolt that on and that gives you about that five inches of um, offset from the back of the, uh, your, you know, the boat transom that, uh, that you have. And the reason why we like the, um, the five inches is it allows you to put your boat or allows you to put your motor in pin one. So you have three pins on your motor and uh, ideally you'd like to be in pin one but with a lot of the stock settings, the stock wooden transoms, you just can't get the boat into or the motor into pin one um, when you only have that two inch offset. You're in pin two or three and uh, you know if you go any lower than that, the shoe or the lip of it is your intake is hitting the, uh, the jet tunnel. And um, yeah, the only way around that is to put that, uh, that shoe or that intake underneath the tunnel and that kind of defeats the purpose of having a jet tunnel. Now you've sacrificed an inch or so um, by burying that, uh, that intake underneath the tunnel. So here we like to have it sit back a little bit um, and then yeah, allows you to use any of the pins that you have on your outboard uh, motor. So let's have a look at some of the pins just so you have an idea what I'm uh, talking about. Here's a pin here, you can see this one. I'm actually in pin three and that is because this boat loves to uh, put the bow down and just plow water. So I have to keep the pin back in pin three, but you can see what happened when I did put it into pin one. I ended up uh, kind of wrecking my tunnel a little bit. Um, you know, I wasn't as uh, educated on this and I would actually, the lip of it, every time I turned a hard right or left, it would go right into the, the tunnel. So now that we have the, um, the boat offset more, that five inches, you can actually uh, put it in any one of these pins right here. So if you're trying to tweak your boat, you can see with the three pins here, if you put this in pin three, that moves your motor up, your intake, about you know three quarters of an inch, two thirds of an inch, and with that you may be cavitating. If you had it in pin one where you were running super skinny, but now you want to play around, try it in pin three. Well, the running it in pin one will push the bow down. So the front of your boat will go down. So if you're having a problem with porpoising, maybe you want to be in pin one. Well, maybe you couldn't do that because your transom was too close to the boat. So now with an adjustable transom offset about five inches, you'll be able to put it in pin one and reduce that porpoising. If your boat likes to plow the bow down uh, regardless, then you can put it back in pin two or three and that will actually raise the front of the boat up a little bit and uh, help you run better. So it's all about that planning line, figuring out uh, what works for your boat, for that design, for the motor you have on, for where you have your weight distribution. So all that stuff can be tweaked by adjusting the pins here. One of the, the big benefits of having the adjustable transom, another one, is uh, doing these adjustments on the river. The only place you can test your boat out really is on the river. You can set it up the best you want in your shop, but once you get to the river, you run up and down a few times and uh, it's cavitating or it's, uh, it's way too low, Five minutes, you can adjust this 
loosen six bolts, crank that middle bolt up or down and uh, do it right there, tighten it up and off you go again. It, it takes like literally five minutes. We'll be doing a video on that later, uh, just showing you how easy it is on the river. So when I take this boat out for the first time, um, yeah, I'll kind of tweak it inside here where I think it's gonna run best and then out in the river, just uh, up and down, you know, a few minutes, up and down with the motor, up and down with the adjustable transom and uh, try and get it dialed in. So. Really, you know, there's no more, you know, two guys lifting this, adding shims in here and pounding them in or drilling new holes. So, um, yeah, literally you're out on the river and that's, you know, that's one of the fun things about these boats is kind of getting them dialed in for, you know, running that super skinny water or, you know, the big choppy water out in the ocean and lakes and that. So, um, yeah, the adjustable transom will definitely help, uh, help with that. So one of the other benefits of having adjustable transom is if you have more than one motor. Let's face it, everyone needs more than one outboard jet. You can't get by with just one, uh, one jet motor, or at least that's what I tell my wife. Um, and you can see I'm a bit of a motor hog here. I got lots of different jets for different occasions, you know, 2025s, 30s, 40s, 60s. Um, yeah, different motors for different setups, different riffers, uh, different number of people in your boat, uh, two strokes, four strokes. So all of those are gonna be a little bit different setup on your boat, different height. And uh, yeah, you can adjust all those, um, you know, with the adjustable transom. No need to unbolt stuff and bolt it up and raise it for, uh, you know, for different motors. Just uh, lift your next motor on and crank it to the, the sweet spot. And uh, what I do is I notch it in here for all the different motors. I put a notch in the side, mark down uh, exactly, you know, kind of that mid-range spot. For each motor, I can tweak it a little bit more on the river, but for each motor I have, I put a little notch in the transom exactly where the starting spot is for that motor. So there's no playing around. You just put it on, wheel that uh, main bolt up or down, and uh, you're ready to roll. And one of the other benefits, um, you know, is the popularity of these uh, jet tunnel inflatables um, is coming along as lots of new people getting into uh, to running these, which is great. But uh, trying to get it dialed in, that first time you pick up your new boat, you got your wooden transom, and uh, you start drilling, and uh, you take it out in the river and it's cavitating, you're like, oh no, what do you do now? You gotta re-drill the holes, fill those ones up. Well, there's no need for that with an adjustable transom. You can just set this up, put it in the mid-range of kind of where you think the, uh, the motor is that you have, and uh, adjust it up and down. It gives you four inches of play, so if you can't uh, get your motor um, lined up with, in four inches, uh, you know, you got some bigger issues. But yeah, essentially, um, yeah, for first timers, it's perfect. You don't have to figure it out exactly where it's gonna be. You don't need to get that, uh, you know, that ceiling winch here and get it all adjusted and that for the first time and, and uh, clamped in and just hope that you, uh, you've got it uh, lined up exactly where you want it to be. So um, for first time people, trying to set up that transom can be a little daunting. Um, so yeah, having an adjustable one gives you that uh, all that room for error when you're setting it up, you know, and then uh, easy to and just to you know move the main bolt when you're out in the river to find that sweet spot. So really, for for all the new people, um, highly recommend a uh, adjustable transom. So these transoms are rated for 250 pounds. So that'll cover off uh, most of our outboard jets, all the two strokes pretty much. Um, might be the odd 64 stroke that's, uh, that's pushing that. I still think it could handle um, any of the, the 60, uh, 40, uh, four strokes even with this. It's a pretty solid uh, trans. So let's, um, let's have a look at this Yamaha here. We'll uh, move it up and down and you'll just see how uh, easy it is to, uh, to crank this thing and adjust the height of it. So here's the main bolt right here in the middle. Grab your ratchet, just like this. And you can watch this thing. I mean, it goes up in millimeters. So it's quite slow, real fine adjustment, but super easy to raise this. And then to lower it, click your ratchet back. And let gravity uh, pull it back down. Simple as that. That's all it takes to uh, adjust this. So a good starting spot when you're setting up an outboard motor, if you're with a 2025 jet, the smaller ones, um, pretty much the smallest ones we use, from the uh, lip of the tunnel, the top of the tunnel, 
up to the top of the transom here, the wood transom where your motor sits, about 21 and a half inches. And then from there it goes up. This here is probably just over 22 inches, kind of that uh, medium range. Might be able to go a bit lower than that when I'm running skinny water. And then for the 40s and that, uh, you might be getting up to 23 inches and then a 60, um, you know, you could be up to 25 inches um, in those. So, but for most people, kind of that 21 and a half to 23 range uh, inches is kind of where you're gonna start out. If you're looking to get into an adjustable transom, uh, send me a note and uh, yeah, we can set you up with one of these uh, right here. Give you a bunch of uh, help in uh, setting it up and where the wood part goes. Even have a lot of the, the wood transoms that go on the back as well. If yours has too many holes, um, can set you up with one of those as well. So yeah, that's uh, the benefits of using a uh, adjustable transom on a uh, jet tunneled inflatable. So yeah, thanks for watching.